One, two, three, go. Okay, guys, I want to show you a couple of mat returns. So what's a mat return? Mat return is you're grappling, your opponent stands up, and you find yourself behind them. Okay, so if you're competing in no gi, you're going to find yourself in this position for sure. But what you want to have is a go-to mat return, something that you've mastered, something that as soon as you're in this position, you know exactly what you're going to do. I see too many times guys get here, they don't know what they're going to do, the guy starts breaking their grips, and they don't know what to do, and the guys escape, and they miss an opportunity to take their opponent down and dominate. So here's the first mat return. We're going to essentially lift up our opponent and put them face down on the mat. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I have a grip. My hands are on one side. I'm locked up on one side of the hips. I'm going to step around, keeping my body close. So I step, step, step. I got my body close. I'm going to lift them with my hips and put them straight down. So what turns them is my arms are going to turn. You theoretically use your knee a little bit to turn them as well, to get them a little horizontal on the mat to put them straight down. So here's the most common mistake. When we step around, sometimes people will bring their hands around. And now it's going to be harder to turn them. I can still pick them up, but it's harder to turn them horizontal. So we want to keep our hands on the side we're stepping to. The second big mistake people make is they get their legs, their feet too wide. They come here, and now I don't have that much hip drive. Thinking about, think about this, if you want to jump high, touch the basketball ring or something, you need your feet underneath you. Same here, you need your feet underneath you so you can use your hips and elevate your opponent, okay? And now the worst thing we can do is step around with wide feet here and maybe lose our balance or sag, and then we drop all our weight on the side of our training partner's knees and they could have a catastrophic injury. So any kind of takedown you're doing, any kind of mat return, for the most part, you want to be on your feet and put your training partner down, okay? Especially your training partner. I mean, there's too many times I've seen, I've almost gotten injured where people try to do something and they just put all their weight on the side of the knee. Super dangerous. I think Dominic Cruz tore his ACL when one of his training partners did that to him. So I'll do it one more time. So I got my hands locked in one side. I sit, and I start with this foot first. Step, step, and now I'm gonna hip into him. Hip, and turn him straight to the mat. And then if I can, I probably wanna get my hooks right in as soon as I can to score my points. So that's our first mat return. And you gotta drill this. You wanna really have it mastered so when you can, you're in the transition, you can just hit it without having to think too much about it. So that's the first map return. We're going to show you a couple others, but we'll end this video here. We'll show